Hello, I'm Saurabh, a cloud support engineer too here at AWS office in Northern Virginia. Today, I'm going to show you how to check why Amazon EC2 auto scaling won't terminate an unhealthy EC2 instance. Let's get started. Amazon EC2 auto scaling can automatically determine the health status of an instance through Amazon EC2 status checks and elastic load balancing health checks. All scaling actions of an Amazon EC2 auto scaling group are logged in activity history on the Amazon EC2 console. Sometimes you can't determine why Amazon EC2 auto scaling didn't terminate an unhealthy instance from activity history alone. In this video, we will explore some reasons why Amazon EC2 auto scaling didn't terminate the unhealthy instance. First, check the state of the instance in Amazon EC2 auto scaling. After logging into the AWS Management Console, navigate to the EC2 console. In the bottom left under Auto Scaling, select Auto Scaling Groups. Select the Auto Scaling group that belongs to your instances. Navigate to Instance Management option. Under Instances, observe the health status of each instance, which can be either healthy or unhealthy. EC2 auto scaling doesn't terminate an instance that came into service based on EC2 status checks and ELB health checks until the health check grace period expires. To find the grace period length, complete the following steps. Choose the details view and then note the health check grace period length. The default health check grace period is 300 seconds when you create an auto scaling group. If you use the AWS command line interface or an SDK to create an auto scaling group, then the default health check grace period is 0 seconds. A value of 0 turns off the health check grace period. Amazon EC2 auto scaling does not immediately terminate the instances with an impaired status. Instead, Amazon EC2 auto scaling waits a few minutes for the instance to recover. To check if an instance is impaired, complete the following steps. On the Amazon EC2 console navigation pane under Instances, choose Instances and then select the instance. Choose the status checks view and note if the instance status is impaired. Suspended processes such as health check, replace unhealthy or terminate affect Amazon EC2 auto scaling capability to detect, replace or terminate unhealthy instances. To check for suspended process, complete the following steps. As seen on the screen, one of the EC2 instance part of an auto scaling group failed its instance status check. If you observe the instance health status on auto scaling group service, then the health of the instance is unhealthy. Under auto scaling in the navigation pane of the Amazon EC2 console, choose auto scaling groups, then select the instances group. Under advanced configurations, choose edit. Remove any of the following processes from suspended process if they are present. Health check, replace unhealthy or terminate. I will clear the terminate state. When I clear the terminate check, the auto scaling group launch a replacement instance. Amazon EC2 auto scaling doesn't perform health checks on instances in the standby state. If the instance fails its instance status checks, then make sure to check if the instance is in a standby state. To set standby instances back to the in-service state, complete the following steps. On the Amazon EC2 console navigation pane, under Auto Scaling Groups, select the Instances group. Then, choose the Instance Management view. Check the Lifecycle column and observe if the state is in a standby state. As we can see, one of the EC2 instances in a standby state. The health check is healthy because Amazon EC2 auto scaling doesn't perform health checks on instances in the standby state. Select the EC2 instance, then choose actions and select set to in service. When the instance is in in service state, the auto scaling group will check the health of the instance and then terminate it if the health check of the instance is failing. Amazon EC2 auto scaling waits to terminate an instance if it's waiting for a lifecycle hook to complete. To find the lifecycle status and complete the lifecycle hook, 
complete the following steps. Here, we see that one of the EC2 instance part of the autoscaling group is failing the instance status check. Under autoscaling, choose autoscaling groups and then select the instances group. Choose the instance management view and note the lifecycle status of the instance. If the status is terminating wait, you can check the heartbeat timeout. When the heartbeat timeout ends, the autoscaling group will terminate the instance. Check the health of the instances tied to the target group of your ELBs. On the Amazon EC2 console navigation pane, under load balancing, select target groups. Select your target group and then observe the health of the EC2 instances tied to your ELB. Amazon EC2 autoscaling doesn't use the results of ELB health checks to determine an instance health status when the group's health check configuration is set to EC2. Because of this, Amazon EC2 autoscaling doesn't terminate instances that fail ELB health checks. Make sure to confirm that the health check type is set to ELB. If it isn't, then follow the steps to change it to ELB and observe the autoscaling group termination process. Under autoscaling, choose autoscaling groups. and then select the instances group. Choose the details view and note the health check type. Choose edit and then select ELB for health check type. Then choose save. The autoscaling group will then terminate the EC2 instances that fail the ELB health checks. Now you know how to check why Amazon EC2 autoscaling won't terminate an unhealthy EC2 instance. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.